Cafe at Clark Road Secondary School. I'm Rylan Smelser. And I'm Michael Maines. Today we'll be making pierogies. For these pierogies, ingredients needed will be four cups of rice mashed potatoes, two cups grated sharp cheddar cheese, two tablespoons butter, two tablespoons minced shallot, half a cup heavy cream, two teaspoons salt, one teaspoon pepper. And the equipment needed will be a cutting board, a knife, a medium pot, potato masher, a potato ricer, a frying pan, cheese grater, measuring spoons, and measuring cups. First part is to peel the potatoes. Once we've peeled those potatoes, we're now going to cut these potatoes into two inch pieces. It's nice to cut it right in half to make sure that we have a flat surface when cutting. Now that we've cut our potatoes into two inch pieces and placed it into our pot, we're now going to bring to a boil and cook until soft. That should be roughly 40 minutes. Okay, so next for the pierogi filling, you're gonna to wanna to get a small saute pan. You're gonna to wanna to add the butter. And then you're going to add these minced shallots. And you're going to sweat on medium heat until soft and translucent. An important part is to not brown it. You're going to want to add your heavy cream, your salt, and your pepper. And then you're going to want to stir to combine it. For the pierogi filling, you're going to want to mash potatoes. If you can rice it, that would be ideal, but you can still mash it. You're going to want to pour the shallot butter onto the potatoes. After that, you're going to want to sprinkle under the cheese. And then you're going to want to mash it all together until it's fully combined. Now we come together. First, what we're going to do is take a little bit of water and put it over about half of the pierogi shell. Once that's done, we're going to take a nice level scoop of our pierogi filling and place it in the center. Once that's done, we're going to nicely even it out amongst the pierogi. Then, we're going to fold over and crimp the edges of that pierogi. This is pinching it to ensure that all that great filling stays inside that shell. The next step is to take the pierogies and place them into boiling water, blanching them. We should leave them roughly until they begin to float. Now that the pierogies have begun to float, which only took a few minutes, we're going to take them out and put them to the side. Great job today, guys! Now that we have our pan nice and hot, we're going to take our pierogies that have already blanched and we're going to saute them in this pan. We're going to do this until there's some nice color on there. Now that we've cooked them and plated them, we can add whatever we want to them. We could add caramelized onions, bacon, green onions, whatever you think would be good on there. This was Rylan Smelser and Michael Maines with our pierogies. pierogies.